This week on Canada in the Rough, Kevin Beasley is moose hunting in Northern Ontario. He'll be hunting at Watson's Pine Portage Lodge and has a great time fishing and even grouse hunting during his adventure in Ontario's Algoma country. After Kevin finished packing the truck, he started his drive to Wawa, Ontario. Well, it's a little colder up here in Northern Ontario than it is back home. We're in the middle of October and we're up here because we're going moose hunting. This week we're going to be hunting with Watson's Pine Portage Lodge. They're up in a remote lake up in Northern Ontario and they have a beautiful spot. Paul actually hunted with them a few years ago for black bears and he said their place is absolutely stunning. So we're excited to get up there. We're going to jump in a plane this morning as long as weather permits. And uh, it's a short flight and we're going to get in there and hopefully these cold temperatures have the moose moving. As Kevin arrived at camp, he was greeted by the manager, Mary Ellen. Watson's Pine Portage Lodge is located on KB Lake. They've been in operation for 75 years and offer outstanding fishing and hunting adventures. When it comes to their fishing, they're known for perch, great walleye, and big northern pike. And they offer fall hunting for grouse and waterfowl, along with black bear, and what Kevin's targeting this week, moose. With numerous hunting and fishing packages to choose from, you will be well taken care of during your stay. They have very comfortable and fully equipped lodging and excellent meals prepared for you every day. Well, Dave, I'm glad the plane was able to get us in early enough that we'll be able to go and get some fishing before the moose season starts tomorrow. Yes, uh, I think we got the good weather here and uh, I'll take you to a couple of my holes and uh, we hope we could get a few walleye uh, fish for dinner and, then, and a few, then we'll have a good meal. Well, that sounds fantastic to me. Let's go jump in the boat and have some fun. All right. There we go. That's a nice wally boat. Perfect, perfect eater. Nice wally. Perfect eating fish right there. <laughs> Fantastic. There's one around. There's one around. There's Something one. Else. There's a good snack right there, eh? Yeah, perfect. Good stuff. There we go. Perfect, nice. Another nice eater? That a beauty, that's a beaut. Feel that tick on your line, eh? Big, big walleye. Nice walleye. Big walleye. Yeah. Nice. Very good. Nice. That's a nice eh? 
Yeah, that's beautiful fish. Oh yeah, here we go. It's a heavy one, eh? Oh, this is a bigger fish. Oh, he's twisting it. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. There we go. Nice northern pike right there. Oh, a big pike. That's a big one. Holy jumpers. Where's the net? Nice fish. Yes, sir. After the guys had a blast on the water, they headed back to camp to enjoy a great meal of prime rib cooked by the Pine Portage staff. On this hunt, Kevin's taking advantage of an electronic moose caller in hopes of luring a bull out of the dense bush. The tactic of calling moose is most often used in the breeding season when the bulls are fired up and looking for cows. While some hunters will say that calling moose is not effective after the middle of October, it's been our experience that calling moose can be very useful right up to the end of October. Using some sort of call, whether it be man-made or electronic, can often pique the curiosity of moose. looking bull, we need to get a little bit closer look. He's got really red, red antlers. After the guys watched the bull a little longer, they ultimately decided to pass him. They made their way to another area where Dave has had good luck in the past and started the call back up. Beautiful bull, Dave. Well, that's a great bull. What do you think we can do? Can we get downwind, go on the shoreline, and walk into yeah, it? Yeah, I'll try to go to the shoreline. Okay. okay. see him from here I got to get around that next point the next point I should be able to see him and we should be within a couple hundred yards so here's hoping he's still there That's 
a beautiful bowl. We got ourselves downwind and we got ourselves out of sight so he couldn't see us. But when we got back to the spot he was gone, I looked back at Dave and Dave says he's gone. I think we'll sit here for another half hour, 45 minutes and here's hoping he'll come back out to us. Kevin waited and watched, but the bull never did reappear. As Kevin's first day of his Northern Ontario moose hunt continued, he and his guide Dave Grant of Pine Portage Lodge stopped for lunch on a beautiful island. In remote areas such as this, and especially during breeding season, wildlife movement occurs at all hours. So while Kevin and Dave rested and enjoyed their lunch, they let the electronic collar go to work. anything in the last 15 20 minutes gone dead quiet on us now it is post rut though so a lot of times the bulls don't come in grunting like they usually would during the peak rut so it's not uncommon for them to come in quiet now so we're just gonna sit even for a little bit longer probably another 20 minutes and uh, here's hoping they'll step out over here for us Give him a call, see if you can stop him, Dave. There we go, right there. Hit him again. He's down, Dave, we got down. him. 
<laughs> Good shot, Kevin. Did hey. you hear the path of that bullet oh when you hit gosh. him? Oh my did it ever smack him hard that first shot, it eh? It surely did. But I can't believe that just happened. We we didn't hear anything for over an hour. We're just about to go. You said it'll give it five more minutes. Yes. And then all of a sudden you spot him right there and we got ourselves a beautiful Northern Ontario moose. Yeah, I think you'll have got a nice bowl there. Yeah, let's go get our hands on him. Good. Oh, let's get our hands on him. <laughs> he is down. What a beauty. Look at the rack on yeah. him, eh? Yes. And the body size. He's absolutely gigantic. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's a beautiful moose. Kevin. Dave, can you believe how that happened? We stopped for lunch and we decided, you know what? We don't need to stop hunting. We can just give some calls as we're eating. Yes. And he gave us a grunt. And he stepped out and you spotted him. Yes. Yeah. But then there he is. Yeah, and we got him down before he got it into the woods. That's right. <laughs> but we still got a lot of work to do, don't oh, we? Oh, yes. Well, Pine Portage Lodge did the trick. I can't thank you guys enough. You did a fantastic job. We've seen lots of bulls already. And uh, this was the cherry on top right here. Good. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Before Kevin left camp, he decided to take advantage of some good weather and head out grouse hunting on his last day at Pine Portage Lodge. That one was close. We just crossed the corner. We hear a little bit of leaves rustling beside us. Look five yards away. He's just right there. Beautiful bird. Beautiful. Great looking bird. They are a lot of fun and even better to eat. You gotta love Northern Ontario. We literally just shot our last one, 20 yards up there, walked down here, nice male strutting right here, and we got ourselves another bird. Another beautiful grouse. We're gonna be eating well tonight. Oh, bird right here in the fixed up. See if we can get a different angle on him. Oh. He's just flew into that tree right there. Beautiful bird. That is a pretty bird right there. Wow. Let's go get the other one. Well, that's our limit. 
What a fantastic time we've had here at Pine Portage Lodge. They run a fantastic operation. You can tell they've been doing this for so long because they have everything just to perfection. The moose hunt, what an amazing hunt this has been. We've seen tons of bulls. I was able to tag a beautiful one and then to be able to come and have the options that you do here while moose hunting, to go grouse hunting, to go fishing, and the fishing, the walleye here, unbelievable. This has just been a fantastic trip. If you ever get the chance to come up to Northern Ontario for a moose hunt, or a grouse hunt, or to fish, you gotta do it. I'm your host, Kevin Beasley from Canada Rough. Remember to enjoy the greatness of Canada. Be proud of your hunting heritage. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button and check out our other hunting and wildlife videos right here. Thanks for watching and remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of our hunting heritage.